Hello YouTube, this is Taylor Bantag here with PJTV Productions, and I am here in my inside of my media room. <laughs> Pretty nice, huh? And today, I am going to be showing you how to hook up an external hard drive to your PlayStation 3 unit. I have a brand new MyBook Essentials 2TB hard drive with a, three, with a USB 3.0 connection. Brand new technology. Okay, things that you will need is your hard drive, your external hard drive, a PlayStation 3, and a computer with internet access. So let's get started. The reason I am putting, I am hooking up a USB external hard drive is because you see all these games? With the first generation PlayStation 3 and only 60 gigabytes, this is too many games for 60 gigabytes. So, now that you've got all your materials and stuff ready, what you're going to want to do is you're going to open up your external hard drive. And this is the USB 3.0 cable. Looks like this. See it? I may not be able to focus because of this camera. But anyway, this you're gonna wanna you're gonna have to hook it up to its power source, which I already plugged it in to a power strip in the back of my entertainment stand. You're gonna have to plug it into your external hard drive like that, like so it's good and secure and you're gonna have to plug in the USB cord that came with your hard drive if it didn't come with your hard drive I suggest going out and buying one Let me see this down. Second. Right, here we go. now once you've got it plugged in once you've got it plugged in all right Set it off to the side. Get it. Oh, there's stuff back in the box. Alright. Come back over here to your computer. And you're gonna have to. You have to hook it up to your computer. Like this. Be sure not to mess it up. You know, probably paid money for this, like normal people. Do. Okay, now as you got your hard drive hooked up to your All computer, right. you have to open up your computer now. and see if it's hooked up right. It'll show up like there. Mine says PS3 because I've done this before, and I'm just doing it again to show you. Uh, mine is 1.81 terabytes because it is formatted. The formatting will take away some of your memory. Mine is supposed to be 2. Point, I mean, two two terabytes, and um. Uh, it's formatted to FAT32, like this one, your local, is formatted to NTFS, and that won't work for PS3, so you're going to have to format it to FAT32. If you do this some other way, like going into your administrative tools, it might not work, so you got to download this file off the internet. The link will be in the description. What you're going to want to do first is after you've opened up your internet, first you're going to have to give it some time because it's loading. i got a lot of stuff on my computer. Okay, go to Google and type in uh, Ridge Corp. Ridge Corp, I think. Yeah, Ridge Corp. I'm going to type in Ridge Corp. And once you've typed in Ridge Corp, you got to click on the top link. And because of my stupid internet, it keeps redirecting me. So if you get redirected, just do whatever you do to get out of it. I just keep hitting back until it does it right. Okay, here we go. Now that you're here, you're going to have to click on Windows GUI version for of FAT32 FAT32 format. Click on it, then you're going to click on the picture. See, if this is the only time you're going to use this, and you'll never use it again, just hit Run. 
If you're going to use it again, hit save. Since this is the only time I'm going to use it, I'm going to hit run. Uh, that's it. I'm going to hit run. Uh, yeah. Just let it run. It'll automatically open up. So there. What you're going to have to do now, because you can exit out of your internet browser, but not of this YouTube video, of course. Uh, then you're going to have to open up your computer and find out which drive it is. Mine is iDrive. So just remember that. You can exit out of that. And select the right drive, iDrive. You can leave all this default. Change the volume label because that's the name. I changed it to PS3 because it's for my PS3. Then all you got to do is hit start. It'll format. It won't go that fast. It'll go slower for you because you're doing it the first time. This is the second time I've done it, so I went that fast. Once it says done at the bottom, you're done. You're free to go. But if it doesn't say done at the bottom, and you waited for more than five minutes, hit stop, and it'll say done. So just go ahead and wait for it, or you could just hit stop right now. should have been done by now. So go ahead and... If you've exited out of everything, it'll be safe to unplug it. You're going to unplug it. The light will turn off. And then you're going to plug it into your PS3 console. Uh, turn it on. Turn on your TV. I have a HDMI splitter, so I have to turn on my DVD player too. It'll come up DVD player first. Oh look, it already did it. Never mind. PS3 screen is gonna come up. Turn on your controller. Hit your user. Then. see there it is right there USB device my book one one four zero that's how you can check to see if it worked you can also do this way you go to your saved data utility and you hit X then you go down and there it is right there you can copy all your files to there and I think it will automatically save to it too all right thank you for watching this has been PJ TV Productions, and this has been Taylor Bantag. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.